Hello. Hello, hello. No, it should be better. Test, test, test. Hearing you loud and clear. Yeah. I was getting worried because there was no video, no sound, no nothing. We're all with you, Richie. Good, good. So let's give one, one minute or so more. Um, FYI, Matt can't make it. Um, no, Matt can't make it. That's the FYI already. Oh, or he can make it. So let's get started. As per usual, don't forget to write yourselves in. Uh, as per usual, I forget myself to write myself in. <laughs> okay. I will share the meeting note link. Just a moment, there we go. So yeah, new joiners. Anyone who hasn't joined here before, we're taking some time to to see the new faces, hear the new voices. If you want to turn on your camera, blah blah blah. Um, yeah. To do, we have new joiners. I failed to join last. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I was going to say hi. I'm I'm Ian. I this is my first time joining as uh, just a a non a, a non presenter. I said I presented last week with uh, OpenSLO, but uh, today I'm just myself. <laughs> Same for me. So my first week not presenting something. So yeah, my name is Daniel. I'm a set related engineer at Kisix.io, now part of Grafana Labs. Um, I'm also a maintainer of Grafana Temple. Really glad to be here. 
I would have bet that Daniel has been here like 20 times already. <laughs> not, even not, the... not here, not here. In other meetings, in other meetings. Hi everyone, I'm also a new joiner. Um, David Spejo here. I'm a uh, open source community manager for Project Octant. It's an open source project at, here at VMware. And well, it's great to be here to learn. Welcome. I'm, I'm also new here. Um, I'm an analyst at RxM. Welcome. I think anyone else? I think we have it, but just to make sure. I think Alex just joined. Uh, you mean Alex Jones? He's been here often, but he can say hi if he wants to. Oh, yes. Oh, sure. Hey, guys. I'm Alex. Um, I wasn't prepared to show my camera, actually. Uh, I'm a principal engineer at Sivo, a computing company. I, I've worked with people like Richie and, uh, and Arthur before, so uh, nice to see you all. So let's get started. Um, I put some uh, bug scrubbing in. We don't have to do all of this live, but just as a reminder uh, for everyone to be feel welcome to to look at things. Uh, one thing where I'm certain everyone will have an opinion, uh, but we shouldn't uh, spend endless amounts of time bike shedding. Um, CNCF had a logo created for us, um, or at least a, a initial draft. Um, and currently we are in round one of uh, of the design contest. So if you have, if you find something nice or something not nice or what have you, um, feel more than welcome to to um, put your feedback in. Uh, what what you like to see, what you don't like to see um, for the logo. Um, I don't know 100%, but I do hope that uh, we can get the usual like stickers and such at some point. And if not, I'll probably just shell out myself to have at least a few sparkly ones, um, just so we have them. <laughs> Chris, obviously, all of them need to be need to be uh, holographic or sparkly. So um, there's one uh, that's mixed up. There's one uh, thing which I think can get more feedback. We uh, the persona definitions. Um, Gibbs, who's not here today, uh, put quite some some effort in that already. Um, feel free to just also chime in. Of course, uh, once we have more personas actually defined, it makes it a lot easier to to just think about those specific personas versus um, always coming up with use cases and, and such on the spot and, and having to reinvent the basics every single time. Um, in person meetups, I mean, for the US, should we already officially encourage this or should we still wait? I, thoughts at least i mean for the us locally without much travel maybe on the other hand mm -hmm. official stamp maybe maybe a little bit too to envy inducing i guess okay, no opinions uh, then <laughs> not for now i guess <laughs> And then we have the one pager um, for um, for the working groups. Um, anyone who who wants to create new work streams, um, feel more to, than welcome to look at this. Maybe as a general point of information, I do think uh, that was shared already two calls ago. Um, in particular, now that the uh, due diligence model has been completely redone, which uh, frees up uh, mm -hmm. us up as as a tech or formerly SIG, um, we are trying to refocus on just more parallel work streams, uh, actual production of content, um, mm -hmm. and those mm -hmm. kinds of things. Um, of course, the the admin um, expectation overhead, whatever, is just going down. 
um, ideally we will be able to, to paralyze um, more and more. Which brings us to the white paper, I guess. Uh, last week, we Arthur, can you up your volume a little? Yes. A second. Hello, 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 hello. You're a little bit silent, or is, is it just me? Yeah. No, it sounds as if another microphone is picking up. Oh, just one second. How is that now? Perfect. Yeah, it was another microphone, indeed. Uh, okay. So last last week, me, Bartek, Michael, and Matt partially uh, we we've met to talk about the white paper. Um, we've moved the white paper from the Google Docs to GitHub, uh, similarly to what uh, the app delivery did. We are just tidying up some things. Uh, and I think we are ready to, uh, to publish in two weeks. Uh, there are a, a couple of sections that will, will be empty in two weeks, but we are preparing the white paper, like as if we're gonna write that is, we will add, welcome some extra contributions to those uh, empty sections, but they are, so there are just a few. The, the, the overall, the white paper look is looking pretty good, and I think we will meet again uh, next week just to track progress, and that's it. Do you already know when you want to meet? The same time as Sig Observability meeting, just next week. Mm, I think that clashes with oh next week is horrible for me anyway i think that clashes with with toc doesn't it no is there no toc meeting next week okay it doesn't matter it doesn't matter Yeah, so if you could send uh, the information for the call and everything to the mailing list, that would be appreciated. And also, obviously, uh, the Slack channel. So anyone who wants to join um, yep, can we'll join. Do. We'll do. Any other feedback regarding the white paper, um, like right here, right now? Let me put the link for the PR for already. Uh, oh, sorry, I thought I copied it. Number 47, but GitHub is being slow. There we go. But in the meeting notes, I can also put it in chat. So if um, anyone who is relatively new, um, that is probably our main worker package at the moment, um, to get a, a basics document out there we, where we give uh, people who try to onboard themselves some guidance on what all of this stuff is actually about, what, what the buzzwords mean, um, how, to, how to think about at least the basics, how to approach, um, an observability strategy if you don't have any yet, this kind of thing. Um, so yeah, that's um, that's what the white paper is about. Sorry, I should have introduced this before, right? Uh, jumping directly to Arthur. Um, then we have a few people from VMware here, and I suspect they will just take the floor and and do the intro for Auckland. We had, I, I don't know if that's uh, the case. I had put it in the notes for the following meeting. Um, so I had- Yes, yes, but like the, 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 the teaser for, for what we'll see, I mean. Oh, 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 yes, cool. At least myself, I always like to get a teaser and then look a little bit at the thing before I get the demo of the thing, because 
it, it makes it easier to ask good questions. Uh, so I think David and Ivana, if you just want to give the short preview or we wait for next time, both is fine. Oh yeah, well, I wasn't prepared for this. Um, yeah, I'm part of the Octane team and, uh, you know, joining and, and learning from from what this uh, SIG or TAG is doing right now is, is important for us. Um, I will work with the team to, to have a, a proper demo for for next meeting, if you agree. Um, and we see how how the project fit and, and what uh, uh, what the group is doing right now. Mm -hmm. Hi. At the end. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, please. No, <laughs> oh, uh, I wait you to finish. Oh, I'm done. No problem. You can go ahead, please. Okay. Uh, nice to meet you. I'm Ivana Tanasova from VMware, and I work in the open source program office. And to what uh, my I, with me and a few colleagues are working on a proof of concept and we are migrating one uh, monolith applications to uh, to services and uh, we are applying uh, some observability and looking at what's available and currently integrating with open telemetry agar and uh, the other projects as a proof of concept so we are would like to see what's going on in the community in this stack and uh, if we we probably are looking to maybe join and uh, see if we can help with some efforts and if uh, how that aligns with our research and other things Awesome, thanks and welcome. Then I think the next one has been written in by Matt. Uh, tag role, tag social media. Sorry, wrong tab. Um, yes, I think um, now that we've got our YouTube channel and it's been a month, <laughs> um, we have been given license to be as creative as we'd like to be, right? So we could, for example, do any of any of the following. Um, we could have an interview series with um, with folks in the community. Uh, it, it could be a founder series or something like like the folks that created StatsD or CollectD or or you know what has led into the set of tools we have today, or folks working on projects. Um, in the space now, they could be in depth interviews. We could do short lightning talks, two or three minutes each, that just introduce basic concepts. Um, you know, there's a whole host of activities that we could do. We could live stream uh, interviews as well, uh, and um, you know, it's a thriving space. And so I, I, I think that this requires uh, us to, you know, or create a new role, uh, and then have ideally, in my mind, at least two people kind of co-chair. That you know to 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 plan out uh, uh, interviews uh, to plan out you know how we want to serve the community uh, in this forum uh, you know in, you know using more than email uh, or or Slack uh, so that's just the general idea I'm curious if folks uh, I don't I'm not sure what to call it <laughs> um, uh, but you know we can this is an example of you know we can define a role, we can name it, we can scope it, and we can elect a few people uh, uh, that are interested in doing it. Um, so what do you all think? We have a, you know, basically a platform now, uh, uh, supported by the CNCF to, to do this in the, in the context of our, our, our mission and our charter. I think it's a really cool idea. Um, one of the things that I often find is that the the tags would really benefit from more interaction with end users. I think that this is a good opportunity to try and showcase some of those end user patterns of behavior, because I think that often a lot of vendors have um, strong opinions on what their, their customers want, but I think it's also useful to maybe hear directly from those customers of what worked well for them in terms of patterns, what didn't work so well. And I would, I would love to see something like that where we could curate a playlist perhaps of 
of various end user communities who uh, have, have had success with various observability tooling. I can also share maybe that uh, I think it's a very, uh, very powerful medium and uh, I personally uh, uh, take part in uh, an open observability talks uh, podcast that also has a live stream and uh, over, over YouTube and uh, I think this is a very uh, engaging way of, of reaching out to, uh, to community members and uh, uh, engage in conversation with different angles, different projects, different uh, case studies. So, uh, I think it's a, it's a very interesting uh, initiative. I'd be obviously uh, more than happy to share my, my experience and uh, brainstorm on what, uh, what can be done. And you're all more than welcome to check out Open Observability Talks, uh, if, if any, for a reference of, of uh, different models and things. <laughs> also, having this kind of introductory playlist, where, mm -hmm. like the same way we have like the white paper explaining concepts to people, because I think that usually some people prefer the video medium to ingest these things like calm or when they want to just share with another team. Okay, this is observability, it's not a booth where you can learn some things. So yeah, I really like the idea. Great, well, I guess we could just, I guess, uh... Richie, technically you're you're driving. So so process wise, um, but do we just make a GitHub? Why don't we just make a GitHub issue for this uh, on the board, and we can kind of put the details there, uh, and then make a PR to define uh, the role uh, and move forward. Um, at, you know, we'll, we'll we'll define the role. We'll put it up for feedback from the community, uh, and then vote on vote on it in a subsequent meeting. If that that's what I would propose. Uh, my, my, the battery of my mouse was done, so I had to recharge it to unmute myself, which is why I was. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, yes, I, I think that makes sense. I, 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 I'm not convinced that the focus on just social media is, is the right one. I think uh, what, what Alex spoke to with more like content and interactivity is probably uh, the, the better long-term thing and more sustainable uh, long-term because if, if it's just social media, uh, you, you fall into this trap of basically doing marketing and that uh, can can lead to yeah, less it, than- I think it's, I, I, that's what I said, that's the wrong term, right? So, so social media, I, I think it's actually more the YouTube presence and, and this video medium that we could then advertise um, yeah. from the tag accounts on, on those, those places. But that, well put, I, I didn't mean social media per se. No, 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 it, it, just to, yeah, no, that's, my gut is uh, a, a content working group of sorts, because like just looking at, at how we do this with Prometheus or with Gravana, um, it's it's usually the same bunch of people who do roughly the same work, like upload the videos, uh, moderate comments a little bit, uh, make sure there's something in the pipeline, um, actually create the content or help others create the content. It's always kind of the same thing and always, revolves around content-ish. So I think that is probably a good focus. Um, but yeah, absolutely, let's let's make an issue and we just discuss it in depth on the, on, on the repository. Just a moment. Funny enough, that already brings us pretty much to the end, unless someone added something, no. Uh, so one reminder, please write yourself into the uh, into the, the spreadsheet, this overview for contact information, if you so choose, like there's no, you're not forced to, but if you if you want to be found or contacted with, uh, like not spam, but if you want to, if you want us to be able to, to reach you, um, put yourself in, and if not, also no problem. And I mean, we can just open the floor if anyone has anything they, they want to talk about. 
I have a question regarding the uh, previous topic. Uh, what kinds of roles did you have in mind? Because there's the uh, obviously the uh, emceeing and the operational side of things, and there's obviously the uh, you know uh, a curating uh, content, and there's uh, there's obviously serving it, the front ending it, and uh, not not everyone has the same passion to to take part in in each. And some people love the the front end, some people love the uh, orchestration and the uh, curation of content, and uh, so I'm just thinking if we want to open the issue and discuss, maybe we should break it down to what kinds of functions we want to be involved here. And also, obviously, it will also reduce the load on, on not one individual having to take uh, multiple things. And again, uh, maybe addressing different passions of different people. So just as a point of thought. That's at least in my head, if you have a working group and not one person who is nominally responsible for everything and then maybe a second person and those two people always need to do everything or need to be in the end responsible for everything uh, versus having a working group where, where people can just uh, self-organizing anarchy to some extent. Someone who wants to pick up a thing just picks it up and as long as, as, as there's output which which everyone is happy with um, it's more or less self-organizing and that usually leads to to the definition of of the roles anyway because you find out who is doing what and who likes doing what and who keeps doing what and and that then uh, aligns then you can align those definitions and those roles with what people are doing anyway as opposed to having to define everything up front and then needing to change it or adapt it, or someone doesn't want to, to volunteer for this role, but they would have volunteered for something which is called slightly differently. Like this kind of thing is what I'm a little bit worried about. Um, so I, just getting started and, and seeing how, how everything plays together is probably, in my mind, the, 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 the more pragmatic approach. But that's just me voicing an opinion as a member of the tag. This is not me as the chair saying, this is what we need to do. Um, so. Yeah, so let's form a working group. I, I mean, I think, I think uh, the time you, I don't, I haven't done this before myself. So I think folks like yourself that have could contribute there and say, these are the kinds of functions that in practice um, we need. So yeah, I think the working groups are exactly what this is for. Um, so we'll create a working group. There's a board for it now. Um, here, I'll link it. And uh, yeah, kind of cool to be able to define there. So we can just add a card to this board, form, form a working group and um, handle it async. And maybe, I don't know, it's two weeks maybe for our next meeting, those those interested. Is that, I think, sufficient time, perhaps, to uh, at least have a plan for a plan, so to speak, right? So define what those roles are, uh, define, you know, what a process for content creation and or curation looks like. Um, again, not to have a small number of people just do it, but, but really create the process by which we could, you know, anyone in the community can propose a new video series or an interview or what have you. Um, you know, does, does two weeks seem like a reasonable amount of time to uh, to have something in PR form to, to review? Just a simple markdown doc that describes, you know, what we're talking about. I I think yes, but we'll find out either way. Um, um, I guess. Oh, you also have a board, okay. I also created the issue. Okay, um, the tracking issue for it um, uh, now, I think, um, and put it in the notes. And I think we just discuss in the issue and, and hopefully we, we migrate to this to this uh, working pattern where we discuss the issues more and I know that I myself need to do this more as well so this <laughs> um, yeah and just see where we end up in two weeks time but I do think it's absolutely realistic to have something by that time
Anyone else? Any other topics? Okay. Then I guess everyone gets 20 minutes of their of their day back. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining and Thank see you next everyone. week. See you. Thanks everyone. Thanks. Yeah. Bye. Goodbye. All right, issue created.